What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to update the firmware on your PS5 controller. Before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed, and that number is pretty awful. So if you like this video and want more cool tips, tricks, and tech stuff like this, uh, go ahead and click on that sub button. So into the video itself, if you're watching this, chances are Steam or another game or application has told you you need to update your controller for the latest features. So um, all you gotta do to do that is go to this website right here, which I'll put a link in the description so you can go to it and download the firmware updater. Once you download this updater, you're gonna run the installer and it is going to start installing um, the program itself. This isn't installing the um, firmware yet, just the uh, program itself. Once you have that installed, and I'm gonna close this because I already installed it, you're gonna open up the application. It'll show up on your desktop, or on your start menu, whatever you choose during the installer. And this is where it'll tell you whether your controller is connected, it's battery life, if it's charging, and if there's an update available. And in this case, there is. So we're gonna go ahead and click on update now. Make sure you're using a USB 3 cable in a USB 3 port, and it has a secure connection. Don't use one of those loose cables where it might be kind of messing up or near the end of life, you've been throwing it around the house too much or something. Uh, use a really good cable for this because if you uh, mess up your firmware, um, you, you can break your controller. It's rare, but I believe um, anything that you're updating firmware on, you have to be very careful because if it cancels in the middle of an update or you unplug it in the middle of an update, it could cause issues moving forward depending on when that happened during the installation. So make sure you got a good cable, everything like that and you should be good. Let's go ahead and run the updater and click on update now. And a little bit of that is a little exaggerated because it's, it's kind of rare for bad things to happen um, by just wiggling it and stuff, but just don't plug, don't unplug it, you know, just be careful. <laughs> and you'll just wait a bit until this finishes, grab a sandwich or a cup of coffee or something, hang out. All right, great. So the update looks like it finished and it was uh, completed success successfully. I can't talk now. And let's go ahead and press OK. I think I might need a firmware update. And now it will tell you that you're on the uh, latest firmware. In my case, it's 0307 and it is up to date. Uh, so yeah, if you have any questions about this, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Peace to about a new device unbox and kudos we rock that pseudo administrative elevator command we build it up or break it down in that virtual lab from conversations to games to interviews with a broader view he keeps it fresh always bring something new it's mike the tech mike the tech huh mike the tech the architect huh mike the tech mike the tech yeah mike the tech the architect